Hello and welcome to another LEGO DC Superhero set. This is set 76000, Arctic Batman vs Mr Freeze, Aquaman on Ice. Uh, apart from the Superman Wonder Woman set, this is the first set, you know, that we're actually sort of expanding more of the Justice League and more DC characters. It's still heavily Batman focused and the sets today are still very heavily Batman focused. For example, Joker Land and the boat chase, you're gonna get, you know, finally get Deathstroke, but it's part of a Batman set. We finally get a few Teen Titan members, and guess what? It's part of a Batman set. We get the Flash, it's part of a Batman set. Uh, we got a few actual Justice League sets now, um, that you not necessarily have Batman, but almost every single set is still having Batman. One of us, what's wrong with you? Batman is not the only one that sells toys. People want other DC characters. Marvel's got it right here. I'm sorry, uh, I mean, I'm a huge DC fan, but I'm sorry. DC is completely losing in this regard. Although that Batman vs Superman trailer was decent enough. Going to look at the back of the box again, showing a bit more of uh, the gimmicks of his uh, ice skiing boat thing. Well, it's more instruction manual, Lego Club, Lego Batman 2 advertisement, and uh, parts guide, and yeah, just not much going on really. So just like Mr. Freeze from the Batcave, he just comes with a pile of ice, and uh, the old one is literally just two blocks of ice put together. But um, I actually like the, the the design of the old piece. Here's the old one. Uh, the two pieces here, they actually have patterns printed on them. Uh, very similar to the Star Wars Episode 3 set, Battle of Mustafa, you know, the ultimate jewel, uh, where they have the fire. These pieces set in yellow, uh, sort of red plastic, and they also have yellow and fire and lava printed all over it. So there's actually a lot more details going on here. It's just a single color, and I do like this piece a lot more. So in a weird way, I can combine these two together to make the better piece. But you know, uh, the thing is, uh, Mr. Freeze sort of comes with the same gimmick thing, just here. Here's a block of ice that I can trap someone inside. Because this one has a bit more going on, it's actually a bit of um, snow and bits going on. In fact, the Lego uh, superhero set with Black Manta, um, that also has this same Aquaman, so this is not an exclusive figure. You can get Aquaman in two different sets. And, um, and if you get the Black Manta set, um, Robin is the one in trouble, and this time it's Aquaman's trouble because only Batman can save people and all the other superheroes always get in trouble. The gimmick here, there's a two tap piece there and you just go and the whole thing pop open. I would like to think that Aquaman's like, huh, Mr. Freeze, you've frozen me in here, you think at least I'm bursting out on my own and I'm not actually needing Batman's help to do that. So I'm actually doing that on my own because I'm Aquaman and I'm cool as well, not just Batman's cool. I keep going on about that fact. Well, it's not my fault, it's uh, Warner Brothers' fault for keep doing this to all the other heroes. Hmm. Decent figure, of course, based on the classic Aquaman. You should get that hair off. He's got a second face, angry face as well. The print over is pretty good. Aquaman gets a bad rep. <laughs> and a lot of comedies that, that don't quite understand who Aquaman is. He isn't just a guy that talks to fish. He's strong. He can, you know, he swim pretty, pretty well. Um, he's the king of freaking Atlantis, for God's sake. He's not just, I can talk to fish and dolphins. I actually do other stuff as well. But um, it's not like he who die on land. Christ. I mean, yeah, even those Family Sky sketches, they're kind of funny. But, um, and the robot chicken sketches as well, but, um, yeah, I just yeah, get it over. I <laughs> mean, like, um, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy from, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, even that's somewhat like it's based on this and taking make out of superheroes in general, but it still has a bit more respect because it doesn't say they're useless. Anyway, here's this trident, it's actual molded trident piece, that's pretty cool. Um, I think some of the old Atlantis, Lego Atlantis, not Aquaman Atlantis sets actually have some of these. In fact, if you have those old Lego Atlantis sets, you can probably combine them and make a pretty decent uh, Aquaman thingy thing going on. Especially with the Black Manta set, because you have some, some sort of gateway going on. But yeah, that's a decent Aquaman figure. We have this bat, uh, ice, boat, ski, thingy, majig thing, you want to call it. Um, of course, back in the original Batcave set, there's also the ice vehicle there. So just for quick, about it stuck. There we go. Both vehicles are there. Both of them have the little blades. Uh, this one doesn't actually use the blades to go. You see, 
blades are just sort of there for decoration. This one actually rolls on the blades. Um, yeah, this the cockpit here. See, ooh, more stuff that can move. I can almost hold two people again, but not. Mm. Yeah, much bigger. Again, all the sets have much bigger, longer vehicle in this case. Um, this one's a bit chubbier overall. I like this one a lot more. It's a lot more colourful with all the yellow lining going on. It's a lot more detailed. Uh, the old one's like a token vehicle just to put in the back cave in case you didn't buy any other sets so you don't feel, uh, you know, it's like there's something missing. And the gimmick here, you got um, you got these two bombs there that can let go. And you got these two discs that are hold by uh, hold down by this little sort of rubber band piece. So what you do is just push and it fires out. But these, as you heard, that wasn't that didn't sound too good. These things can easily go back in by just sliding them sort of downwards. So yep, it fires pretty well. So let's get get back get back in there. There you go. So yeah, pretty decent details going on. Lift this up. Uh, we've got the white suit Batman, so it's good to have a different colored Batman suit. Got those tiny stickers in there on the control panel, so a lot of details going on there. Quick look at the bottom, nothing too special. So white suit Batman. They could have just gone with uh, a repaint of one of the other suit designs, but it didn't. The belt actually looks a bit different. And yeah, it's nice. It's also really good to have a white cowl because it'll make, it makes it a lot easier to make other custom figures because I did make a uh, custom um, heat signature Batman. And uh, yeah, this bat white bat suit was also featured on keychains. So the easiest way to get this bat suit is to get the keychains, and then you can just, you know, use a solder soldering iron to pull the chain out and just use the parts to customize a lot of things. You've got a white cape and white helmet, this cow, so you can make a lot of different colors. But the head inside is just the same generic head, and the back print is standard. I'm pretty sure this is the back is every color of a different suit. But, but yeah, a decent Batman figure. Again, it's good, just good to have different variations, not just the same black bat suit over and over again. And we've got Mr. Freeze here, which I swear is based on Arkham Asylum. It's got this giant freeze gun, which looks so much better than the old one. And the old one, had, the old Mr. Freeze had the had a cool, <laughs> cool, <laughs> cool head, but he wasn't necessarily a that good uh, figure. Here he is. He's got. I mean, the gun's okay. Sort of looks like him, but uh, yeah, it's definitely more of a boring Mr. Freeze. I like the head a lot because, again, I really like the animated series. But this Mr. Freeze just looks so much better, so much more detail going on. This whole helmet mask piece is just amazing. It looks so cool, literally. Take this off. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a back head. They really should have done because if you put that on, you can't see the back. But I guess the idea is if you take that off and he's just walking around like that, doesn't have a back head because he doesn't have any hair. Oh well. And you've got the underlining of the suit as well, all printed there. The overall detail is just very, very nice. I also really like this sort of matte, light blue color. This is a very, very good figure. In fact, um, if you like Batman at all and Lego, this is a must get set just for this figure alone. So yes, uh, the bat vehicle thing here is a decent vehicle. Uh, it's actually nice to have all the bat vehicles that come out so far. This one's one of the, uh, the highlights, I think. It, it's definitely a good design, a good looking vehicle. So the, the, the set itself is pretty decent. The ice uh, smashing gimmick thing is there just on a small piece and it works very well. So again, that one's a good piece as well. So it's got a good piece and a good vehicle for the set. As for the minifigures themselves, um, it's quite easy to get the white suit Batman, like I said, through keychain methods of keychain. But uh, obviously, you have a bit of a hole in the helmet when you pull the keychain out. So, yeah. Uh, but it's not that hard to get. Aquaman is also in the Black Manta set, so he's not ex he's not exclusive to this set. So, so both this Batman and Aquaman aren't too important. However, the Mister Freeze here, for me personally, is one of the must-have DC figures. Lego figures of all time. It's just really, really good. 
um, it's it's excellent. So yeah, hope you able to get it. And of course, if you have the new Arkham Asylum set, the you know, second release of Arkham Asylum set, there is a room for Mr. Freeze, and he because Mr. Freeze doesn't have any vehicles to come with him, he sits nicely in that set. So it's again, it's just really good to have this set. Get it now. Now subscribe to Justin below on the cost. Take care and have a nice day. Bye.